signs welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you guys for joining me today today is just gonna be whatever comes out for my gemini libras and my aquarius so if it resonates awesome i appreciate if you subscribe like and share those who you think it resonate too um if it does you can check other placements in your chart and if you want to book a personal reading with me the link is down below per usual i love you guys so much so the song i was getting from you guys is chloe lorraine slide um i'm gonna leave the link of that song down below for you guys um, or probably in my community. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you could be very indecisive right now. Okay, you could definitely be a Libra watching this. Um, I'm also getting here where like maybe somebody's indecisive about you. Okay, or you trying to show something? You trying to prove something to, like to a lover here? Okay, this could be a friend, but you want to be more than that here. Yeah, this person could name could start with K L N O P. Um. Yeah, it's somebody like you joked around with a lot because I have a joker, okay? This could be like a player you're trying to prove to a player that they're that you're the one, okay? Or trying to get somebody to settle down here. All right, or this could be you trying to see if you want to settle down with somebody or you feel like you finally met someone. But I'm getting like the wrong time, right person, wrong time, legacy. Legacy. All right, whatever you're creating is about to be a legacy. All right, Spirit want to want you to know that. Yeah, mentor. You could be a, becoming a mentor. Okay, you becoming a legend. Okay. Also, if you have a business, I feel like it's going to become like a legacy. Okay, it's going to live on. That's for some of you guys. Some of you guys, your name is just going to be a legacy here. Whatever that you, you do. Okay, you could be a mentor. You could be a speaker or something like that. You're going to you're gonna leave a legacy. Okay, this is, this is for your reading. Yeah, you're going to be living in luxury. All right. Yeah, Capricorn uh, energy. You could have Capricorn in your chart, but I have Capricorn Venus. So Capricorn could be in your Venus here, or this is how you love. You love very um, aggressively, okay? You're coming off as maybe aggressive because we know how them uh, Capricorns are. So, yeah, but you're winning. I feel like you're you're winning in your business. Like you could be like aggressive in your business, or like they're saying this about you because you could be a divine feminine. And I feel like people are like saying you're aggressive, but really you're a good worker, okay, or a good business person. But they're not used to you being good at what you're doing here, okay, or a type of person that you're. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But you're winning. Yeah, park and speak to spirit. Somebody needs to go to, to go to the park or to the lake and speak to spirit here. All right. Yeah, telepathy. I feel like you hear things in your head, okay? It's not just in your head. That's definitely spirit guides talking to you and trying to get your attention. All right, that's for some of you guys. You got a Taurus in your chart. Um, you're coming off as very, uh, Taurus rising you could be, but you're coming off as very, like, attractive here. Yeah, the next 24 to 48 hours. I don't know. I'm hearing surge. There could be a surge. Okay, they want me to use this now. What do you have? Ooh. Okay, I have Archangel Santa San, Sandal Fawn. I never heard of that man. Music, Earth Star, Answered Prayers. You could definitely be an Aquarius or just an um, you just an Earth Angel here, Earth Star. I don't even know what I never heard of Earth Star. Okay, wow. I may need to look that up. You learn something new every day, so you could be learning something new every day here. Okay, and it's going to be to your advantage. So keep on um, acquiring knowledge. I also have answered prayer. Whatever you've been asking is about to be answered. Whatever prayer you've been praying about is about to be answered. Something about you need to go to the lake, though. Okay, I have Jesus. Oh, wow. Jesus. I never got the Jesus card. Something to do with 17. You may need to look up angel number 1717. 17. I have forgiveness, compassion, and the spiritual teacher. I told you, you're a mentor here. A spiritual teacher is a mentor. So I feel like you're enlightening other people. You could be a messiah here. You could be dealing with a water sign because um I had something to do like that. Yeah, you may want to check out the water sign. Could it have something to do with you? But I feel like um you could be forgiving a lot of people who doubted you. Okay, you could be uh, coming out as the light here. Okay, because I feel like a lot of people was throwing dirt in your name, but you're about to like the truth is about to come out of what kind of person you are here. Somebody could definitely have Capricorn in their chart. You could definitely be um, a speaker, a mentor, uh, and you're speaking the truth, all right? I feel like people don't like that you speak the truth. Archangel Jeremiah, okay, I have reflection. 
with the color purple here, I feel like your intuition is heightened. You're using your intuition and reflecting on your past so you can do better in your future here. Okay, you're learning from past mistakes. This could even be your business where you're learning from past mistakes from your business. And this is why you're, you're becoming well seasoned here. Okay, something where, yeah, that's what I'm getting. 11, 11, 11. So something good coming from this, from you using your intuition. All right. And then I have Archangel um, Azrael, death and rebirth, transitions, life changes. You could be a life coach or be guided to be a life coach here. I feel like you're going to change lives. You're going to become a legacy. This is your destiny is to be a messiah because Jesus was a messenger. And I feel like you are going to be a messenger. I also was watching a, um, like this little clip. I always watch little clips that, I don't know, Spirit be sending me. And the clip was saying, like, I am a servant of the Most High here. I'm not a leader. I'm a servant, which is different because they were saying leaders are kind of like Hitler. or You know what I'm saying? They just want control. But I feel like you're becoming a servant. Is you becoming a, like you're doing it with love, okay? So whatever you're doing, you're doing it with love. And people love you. I feel like people were trying to stop this because, you know, they... They were hating on you or they didn't believe in you. They didn't believe you or believe what you were saying. But what you were saying is the truth. Okay, you bring enlightenment to others and to yourself. Whatever you learn, you teach others. And you're being blessed for this. Because this is your destiny. You're, you're going to create a legacy. Spirit, what is this? Uh, can you tell me more for my air sign? I have pleasure. And I have burning bowl ritual. I feel like you are cutting cords or you need to cut ties or cords with an ex here. Somebody you had sex with, um, I feel like you need to cut that cord because um, somebody energy is still lingering on you that has no business to. I'm also getting like um, something about a new moon or something, full moon or something. You need to like burn something. You need to burn. You also need to get rid of like things that people gave you that you don't even fuck with no more. Okay, or like if you're a hoarder or something or you got like a junkie room, you need to store it and organize here. Okay. I feel like you you don't work well in clutter. So yeah, I'm thinking like, yeah, you need to do that. Yeah, and then you need to rest. Don't overwork yourself. Just know that you need a rest. You need to take a some self-care and, and know that you deserve a rest day. So don't overextend yourself. Somebody could definitely be an Aquarius because I keep seeing a star, but then I see this rainbow. So I feel like um yeah, spirits are saying you're still going to get to where you're going even when you rest. So don't worry about it. Good things are still happening to you when you rest. I feel like you be going into different portals and stuff when you rest. It's kind of like you're helping the other spiritual realms when you rest. I'm getting that. Like, you could be very magical air side. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. So, somebody could be doing something in July. I do see that um, working out for you. Okay, Spirits is saying you need a rest this weekend or something. I don't know if you've been overextending yourself, but put some of that energy into yourself. Yeah, I have six of wands. I told you, like, you are Jesus. Like, I want to call you Jesus, but you are Messiah. Okay, you are a man. You are the modern messenger for the Most High. Um, you are chosen for this. I feel like you're getting a lot of victory, okay, for this. With the Queen of Pentacles. I told you you had Earth in your chart. With the Ten of Cups. You could be like a Harris. Or like a Hare or a Harris. Like you are the head of the family here. Or you are chosen in your family here. Like this is what I'm getting. Okay. You could also have like a grandmother. Who is um watching you or something like that. Yeah. Ace of Swords with the Eight of, Eight of Wands upside down. Somebody didn't want you to speak the, speak your truth here. You're like, well, that's what I'm getting. Yep, the moon card. I told you, this could be a cancer who didn't want you to speak your truth. They also didn't want you to outshine them. You could definitely have water in your chart. But I have five of cups with the star card. Yeah, somebody is mad that you are becoming who you're meant to be because you're chosen. It's like somebody was trying to switch your birthright or something because they wanted to be chosen and they're not. So the truth is coming out that you're chosen and everybody sees the light in you. And now everybody wants to come towards the light. Okay, at first they were, like, they thought you were weird or they thought you were, you know how they was treating Jesus. Okay, <laughs> you read the Bible. You know what was going on. So I do see here where, like, somebody was trying to crucify you. They're trying to put you on the cross. They were trying to throw judgment on you. Like, they were the one who could throw judgment. Who throw, who threw judgment, uh, who throw the first stone or some shit like that. Like, somebody was trying to throw a, uh, throw a stone at you or something. All right, but now they're getting thrown stones at them, or they just getting like 
you better stay the fuck away from us. Yeah, because I was like, somebody was lying. Somebody was lying about you, okay? Or like, people are starting to see that you are the light. Yeah. Queen of Swords, I told you, your energy came out. You're coming out as the truth. Okay, if you have a business and it was stuck for a while, and I feel like you kept going. I feel like you were protecting your business here, or you were protecting your um, identity. You were protecting your, like, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you had to protect yourself. Um, you could have, like, had got stuck and stagnant because of these people or this person who was trying to cast judgment on you. But you about to outshine all these motherfuckers. I told you with the lovers, you could be a Gemini with the world card. So there is um, a new love coming in. But I also feel like there's an end of a cycle of old love. Because this could even be you sleeping with the enemy here, okay? This could be somebody who was trying to make you insecure on purpose. Because they knew they were low vibration. And you were better than them. But I feel like this could also be a friend. But I also feel like this could also be with the world card and the lover's card. Somebody was trying try to separate you separate you from your knowledge somebody could also been trying to steal your knowledge here somebody was trying to steal your birthright like i don't know why i feel like somebody was trying to steal your akashic record somebody could have gotten a reading on you or something like that and they found out you were the chosen one and then they just like they try to stop it you can't stop the chosen the fuck wrong with y'all yeah this could even been a male gemini libra aquarius sent out from the devil himself but this person got exposed this could also even been like a grandfather who is like um <laughs> exposing a lot of motherfuckers around you on purpose. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands, I feel like you coming out as as that bitch or that nigga. Like that's all I can say. With the Page of Cups here, I feel like you was killing them softly here. Okay, this is what I'm getting. I feel like somebody want to prove their love to you or something like. Now people want to prove that they were down for you since day one. <laughs> Yes, three of cups here. But I feel like you already have some day ones that you're about to celebrate life with, okay? These day ones with the four. So you guys could have, like, stopped talking or took a break because you had to work on yourself. And I feel like you had to figure out how to keep moving forward because I feel like a lot of people was trying to stop you. You could definitely have fire in your chart. You might want to check out that fire sign reading. But with the Empress card, you could have definitely have Capricorn in your chart. But also, you could be just exuding a lot of um, energy. Like, you just that bitch. Like, I don't even know what else to say here with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to just leave it like that. Ten of Pentacles with the Empress. Okay, you're about to get everything that you've been manifesting. You're a good manifester. You were working in silence here despite what people were throwing dirt on your name. You were still working on what you need to work on. And Ten of Pentacles is the last legacy you're leaving a legacy okay throw some respect on your name that's what i'm hearing here put some respect on my name so they put respect on your name now that they know the truth and now they feel a little dumb okay but with the judgment spirit did it did this shit on purpose okay spirit had to show you in them who the fuck you were with the full card there's a new beginning happening somebody could have just had a baby or something but this could also be um a new you birthed in a new beginning here they want me to shuffle one more card Oh, wow. Did I ever, um, uh, I never shuffled this one. Okay, it's going to be a little longer for y'all. Because I ain't shuffle yet. Shuffle yet. Shuffle yet. <laughs> Don't make me no mind. Okay, yeah, you need to meditate. Okay. So, yeah, somebody's very aggressive. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, somebody's very aggressive. Or, or they thought they was. Okay. Maybe somebody, oh, I'm hearing... You, like they're somebody's loud in a room because they're insecure so yeah somebody whoever was loud they was just trying to outshine you but they couldn't okay connect with earth and family yeah i told you like your family your tribe is coming in and you're about to love on them yeah I, i'm getting a lot of love a lot of affection with you and your loved ones you could definitely have a daughter here um your third eye is heightening with this moon car you could be seeing a lot of dreams have a lot of pro uh premonitions here um, it's heightening because you are the Messiah. So these gifts are coming to you. So make sure you do your energy work. I told you, you're saint with the moon. Prophetic. You can see things in your dreams. Make sure you keep your chakra balanced. A lot of meditation, a lot of prayer work. All right, guys. Until next time. Love you guys.